Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This time I will talk about V-Ray and the specific object properties for each object you have in the scene. You can assign an object properties node where you can assign unique overrides for your render layer system. So what I have in my scene is a background which are just simple buildings and I've got my car or my, my hero um, object and then I have my foreground which is in this case just the road and you light it all up I have an area light on top and I've got a reflection map for my environment so there's a bit more difference in the reflection than just a standard black environment for my materials I have a simple road material of some diffuse color of a road some reflection map <coughs> and I think a little bump map also just for to get some structure on the road and then on the car I have a just simple um, layered shaders where I've got my base shader and a clear coat shader it's nothing special because I just want to show you how a technique on how you could separate your objects in render layers and keep them very well organized and easy to use in your compositing tool. So for a shot like this you would like to have a clear road with no objects on them but you want to see the reflections of the car and on the environment and from the environment on the road itself. The same goes for the buildings, you just want to have the buildings and nothing else but you want to see everything in reflections and refractions if you have them and the same for the car, you want just to have the single car and on the car itself you want to have the reflections of the ground and from the environment but nothing else so to do that in, in earlier versions you had to create lots of render layers and use background shaders for match opacity, passes and stuff like that so with the object properties you get a um, global override for each render layer so obviously what you have to do is create your render layers for your um, background foreground and I say middle ground objects so first of all I create a empty layer call this one uh, foreground foreground layer and I create a let's say middle ground layer and a background layer. So now they are empty. You could now select all your objects and click add selected, but you could also just set them to global and the attributes um, of the foreground there you can set it to global and it will just add everything which is in your outline into your render layer so actually now I just did an update in viewport 2.0 but if you set them to global they should be added uh, attributes global so now I have my three render layers and now I want to create object properties for my three objects in the scene. So just switching back to 2.0 because it's way faster. And then I first select my background and go into my V-Ray settings window, uh, create V-Ray. And here you have your object properties. And I want a single properties node for my mesh is not for each mesh a new node so then you can see in the outline of my object properties is created I rename this to VG VOP for V-Ray object properties I select my car and do the same thing call this MG for middle ground and now I select my foreground and select I rename this one foreground VOP so now you have to be sure to be in the correct layer so I start off in the foreground 
and now all you want to see in the foreground layer would be the road so you would go into the middle ground and in the settings of the object properties now you can see you've got primary visibility, visible to GI and reflections and refraction if it should cause shadows your contributions, you can override your object IDs or your motion wall which is pretty convenient for lots of uh, projects so for this instance I just want to remove it from primary visibility but keep in mind to use it as an override so for this foreground layer I don't want to see my middle ground which is the car the same goes for my background. I don't want to see the buildings, but they should be visible in the reflections of the ground. So override and primary off. So now what I'm just seeing is the road. So this now we go to the next, to the middle ground, which is only the car. In the car we just we don't want to see the background. So you turn it off via override. Background is off. And the foreground, the road should also be off. But now you have to keep in mind, if you would now comp them, you would just get the car itself, which would look like this. And it still has the roundness of, of the tie because you go and don't get the clipping of the floor plane with the tires. So with the plane inside or the, the ground inside my viewport, you see that the tires are being cut off and obviously you want that for your render too. If you would comp them over you will always get the nice round tire in your renders. So keep in mind that if you are in the car render layer you want to um, use the road as a cut off plane. So to create that effect you have to you can use this matte surface. You would do this I think in the use background shade in previous versions or and older versions of V-Ray where you didn't have this object properties so you would turn on the matte surface and for the alpha contribution also an override and you want to set this to minus one so it will cut off the tires and I, what I always did is keep the primary visibility off but in this instance if you use a matte surface at minus one you have to keep this one on otherwise you wouldn't get the effect and the last one is the foreground where just the road is in and you just want to do the same again to well now this is off it's correct oh I have to be in the background probably and the background I want the car to be completely off and the foreground too. So let's quickly go through all my layers. So let's check for my background. I just want to have the background so the rest should be off, primary off and off. For the middle ground I just want I want to have the background off which is correct and the foreground should be on minus one which is also correct. And for the foreground I want background and middle ground to be off which they are. So now I can move this one back in here. And now my render layers are set up. And to create a test render for that, let's start with the foreground. And I quickly render the foreground render cam. So as you can see it's rendering my foreground and you can see the car's reflections in my ground plane as you can see here there's a little bit of color here are my tire rims and here you can see some buildings and the reflections. This is just how I, we want that and that's for another middle ground which is the car only. I, we want to see if the tires are being cut off from the ground plane render this tire and this tire let's 
probably hard to see because it's now black, but in, in the alpha map you can see they are not round anymore, they are nicely cut from the ground plane, which is exactly what we want. So on the RGB it also looks very smooth, we can stop that and quickly test the background layer. Run now this. These should be just the buildings. As you can see nothing in the foreground and middle ground and only the buildings are rendering. rendering. So this is working out pretty nice. So now I will uh, I will render everything and comp them together in Photoshop quickly or in After Effects just to show you how it's working. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now I have opened up my render layers in Photoshop. What you can see is my background layer, which is correct, rendered with shadows and reflections. So now here goes comes my background, or you can see the car reflection and my buildings. And you can see the car itself, which has been nicely cut open for the street to fit exactly on there. So now you have the ability to change um, like for instance just the road color with an adjustment layer um, now I'm still in 30-bit mode, somehow Photoshop doesn't doesn't um, display it correctly so don't merge and now you have the ability to use some curves and if you want to be the road let it be darker or lighter or whatever you have the ability to do that in comp and the same goes for the background if you want it to be a bit more dark then you just add curves or whatever which 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 fits your needs you can also tint them this just shows how V-Ray object properties work and you can use them for a lots of projects and situations where they are pretty convenient if you're now also using multi mats and stuff like that you can even use just the car render layer and just change for instance the color of the rims or the color of the body if you have um, correct multi mats assigned and I hope I could show you something new with object properties and I can just encourage you to use them because they are very convenient and very helpful to use in bigger projects or even just smaller ones but they work as they should and it's really fun to use them so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for new tutorials and quick tips be sure to let me know if you have any good ideas or any questions about tutorials and future projects thank you guys bye